Thomas really only knows about organized crime from films. In his everyday life, he hardly ever thinks about it. Sadly, organized crime is a daily reality affecting citizens, businesses, and institutions. In fact, it affects the whole economy. That's why fighting organized crime is a way of protecting our economy and way of life. But to fight organized crime, it's necessary to understand exactly what it is. And that's not easy. Organized crime can take so many different forms. Human trafficking, cyber crime, financial crime and fraud, identity theft, money laundering and corruption, counterfeiting of branded goods and pharmaceuticals, drug trafficking, firearms trafficking, piracy on the high seas, handling of stolen cars and cultural artifacts, and the list goes on. Much of the organized crime is borderless. It's obvious, therefore, that fighting it needs a global borderless approach. At the EU level, a part of this response is Europol. Based in The Hague, Netherlands, Europol is a European office helping the police departments of the EU countries to cooperate, exchange information, and undertake joint actions. Sadly, organized crime activities are extremely profitable. The EU wants to hit the criminals where it hurts the most and deprive them of the gains they have acquired. Freezing, confiscating and recovering the proceeds of crime is therefore another important element of the EU response against organized crime. Furthermore, the EU has a role to play in preventing organized crime from infiltrating the public sector. Fighting organized crime will help the European economy improve so Thomas doesn't have to worry about it and can still only see gangsters at the movies. 